Today I'm going to review three uh, Dutch ovens that are available on uh, in any, many stores today. Uh, these would be what we refer to as the 12-inch Dutch ovens. They're each rated at six quarts, although this one is a little bit over seven. Uh, the first one here, this is one that I actually bought used, and a Dutch oven is one good thing that I would buy used. This is a Lodge. This would be the highest uh, quality one of the three. I paid $35 for this used, uh, but a new one's gonna run you at least 60. I've seen them run as high as 100. And this style of Dutch oven is called a camp Dutch oven. And the key thing uh, on that is that it will have two inch legs below it for uh, charcoal briquettes below, or to put coals on a fire to cook with these. And also we would have the rim here for putting charcoal on uh, top of, so they could heat from above and below. And it's got the, the good thing about the lodge, it's got a nice smooth surface here, so I could even turn this upside down and cook pancakes on it. So, this is high quality. This would be a, a one of you couldn't go wrong with you. They come pre seasoned, you pull it out of the box and start using. The next one here I got from Harbor Freight. Uh, this one is a no name brand, uh, but uh, it is a little bit uh, deeper, uh, it's a little bit, it holds another quart. So, this is closer to a seven, even though they're rated at a four uh, at a six quart. Uh, this one is 18 pounds. This one is higher. This is 20 pounds. It still has the same features, two inch legs. Uh, the, the cooking surface here isn't quite as smooth as the Lodge. Uh, so it, it's uh, the quality is not there, but it's still a very good Dutch oven. Used it many times. And its price, it was uh, it, online with Harbor Freight or going in the stores, it'd be $29. I happen to have a 20% off a single item coupon, so this put me at around $24 purchase. And I thought that was a good deal for a new Dutch oven. Uh, one good, one thing about this though, the Lodge comes pre-seasoned, ready to go. This one came in a lot of packing grease. Uh, so it's a prime, it's made somewhere in Asia. So I had to put hot water in this, scrub it all down, soda, uh, uh, soap, soak it with soap and water, clean it out, then do the seasoning of it. Uh, there's many instructional videos online to show you how to season this. Took a certain amount of pride to getting it seasoned right and looking good. But I have another one here. Now this one was 18 pounds, this was 20 pounds, this is just a little over 15 pounds. This is one that I have never heard a name of before until recently. Uh, it's called the Redstone. This one is purchased at uh, Tractor Supply. Uh, this one has a lot of good features. It is pre-seasoned, like the Lodge, pre-seasoned. Uh, it does have the surface area here where you can make pancakes. Not quite as smooth as the Lodge, more in line with the Harbor Freight deal. Uh, but the thing about the uh, Redstone is the price. This one was $20, and then I had a $2 discount on it, and uh, we're coming up on uh, Christmas of 2011, and for the Black Friday sales for this one, it's going to be $15.99 at Tractor Supply. So literally, you could buy three of these for the cost of, if you buy a new Lodge, it's going to be $60. So the Lodge, hands down, highest quality, it's going to be an heirloom piece, one you'll, you can use and use and use. Uh, and pass on. But if you're a scout troop or you're bu a budget camping or you just don't use it that much, this may be something to consider. Find your local uh, tractor supply. I know they're not available all over the states and uh, sorry mate, but I don't think they're available outside of the U.S. either. Uh, but it has all the features, uh, the two inch legs, the uh, raised ledge here for coals, and uh, I'm going to try it out tonight to see if I like it. One thing I did, did notice about it, it does have the, the, the you know difference between 18 pounds and the 15 pounds that has thinner walls. So I'm gonna see if that has any effect on my cooking. I do stews and uh, I do chilies. I do everything but baking. And I know the people that uh, uh, like to bake swear by having an even thickness all the way around. And this may not be the best for uh, baking, but I can see uh, uh, no other reason why I wouldn't do just as good as the Harbor Freight or the Lodge. And just depending on your budget, uh, this one is good. This one is a, a really good value, really strong, really heavy, even heavier than the Lodge, and a little bit better uh, a, a thickness of metal. And this one here, if you're doing the budget camping, this would be the way to go. One thing I would recommend is uh, when you're testing out the, the Dutch ovens, verify the lids are on flat. Uh, for both these, I had to take the first one back and get a better one. You want to set it on, rock it back and forth, see if... It's unlevel, and it, it so because what we're looking for is when the steam starts building up here, we want it to get a good steam seal. If the lead doesn't sit down all the way flush, you're going to have steam leaking out of it. You're not going to build up the pressure. It's not going to be a good Dutch oven. This one also, I had to take the first one back, and the second one, it probably sits just flat. 
as either of my other two. And I'm looking forward to trying this out to make sure that uh, my cooking is just as good. Uh, so this is a little review. $35, $24, and $17 uh, were my uh, cost on them. And I, th I think that the good value is you may want to take a look into the Redstone or the Harbor Freight. But Heirloom, Lodge, hands down, the best one on the market.